Hello and welcome to ChiefTutor.com training videos in Chief Architect. In this particular lesson we're going to learn how to install a swimming pool inside the house. So it's an indoor swimming pool. Um, so here I've built like a simple shell of a pool room we'll call it and um, we're going to go ahead and install a swimming pool. I put some uh, windows and doors, some skylights, just to kind of make it more like a indoor-outdoor type living area. But basically the question was raised, how do I make a swimming pool inside the house? So we're going to go ahead and do that. So the first thing you want to do is usually get the shape that you want. Now um, the person that is requesting this video has asked for an L shape. So we'll just do a, a simple L shape swimming pool, shall we? We'll go somewhere like this. Yeah, that looks good. And that's going to be our swimming pool. Maybe um, a little bit more over here. There we go. You like my swimming pool? It's all done. It's fantastic. I love it. Let's go take a look. What? There ain't no swimming pool. So once I've mapped out the area of where I want to put the swimming pool using the CAD lines, we can easily create a swimming pool condition. But first, before we do that, we should realize what Chief would want to do technically when making a swimming pool. And if you go to the terrain tool, you'll notice that there's this water feature. Now mine's not highlighted because I don't actually have a terrain perimeter yet. But if we wanted to make a water feature, it's just as easy as choosing one of these. So let's just go ahead and create a terrain perimeter now. There we go. Then I'm going to go back to terrain. I'm going to scroll down here and you notice these are all an option now. I'm going to take the kidney shape and let's just click holding down the left mouse button I'm kinda of dragging and I can see the different shapes that it'll make for me and I'll let go take my camera tool let's take a look at what we got and instantly we have a pool area in which we can start to build an outdoor swimming pool but of course that doesn't help us at all trying to draw inside here for instance, if I was to go back to that water feature and try to draw something in here, it won't show up because obviously there is a floor system here and the swimming pool has to be put on the terrain. Okay, so that's useless. What I'd like to do is just cat out the lines of where it's going to go and we'll use this as our swimming pool. Okay, so the first step is once we've got this designed the way we like it, we go down to this tool over here, Convert to Polyline. You click on that and you'll notice that these options pop up. And you'll want to choose Hole and Floor Platform because we want to create a hole first to fill up our swimming pool. And click OK. And it'll then tell us it's a polyline specification and it'll give us some detail. In order to define that this is the whole CAD line that we've created, I'm going to change its color to red just so I know it down the road when I'm looking at it and maybe make it a dash line. And click OK. I'm going to hit the space on the keyboard which will deselect everything. And there I have now a hole in the platform. And let's take a look. Sure enough, there we go. So with that hole firmly placed in my platform, let's go ahead and fill it, shall we? Okay, so going back to the plan view, I'm going to select this uh, hole that I've made and I'm going to copy it and paste in place with one step with this easy button. And there it does. And it just says it's very complex. Are you sure you want to do it? And of course, it's yeah. Then I want to downsize it, convert it to a plain old polyline. Click OK. The 3D got a little confused, so it doesn't know what I'm doing. So now I open it up, and it's still a polyline with this definition. I can even change its color, say, to blue. And then now I'm going to simply convert the polyline to, say, a slab. Click OK. And then I'm just going to leave all the default specifications the same and click OK. And I'll notice my slab is in the plan. Now I want to open it back up and I'm just going to lower the top height to negative one. And by doing this, it'll seem like the water sunken down past the perimeter of the, you know, pool where we walk. Okay, then I'm going to go to the 3D view and I'm going to click on spray can and I'm going to look for some water. 
Now the water textures aren't that great in Chief, and I've noticed that Patricia over at uh, 3ddiva.com has some fantastic samples, so you might want to try over there. Um, but let's go into their basic landscaping, and we will choose their basic water, and let's do this one. And I'm going to simply apply it, and now I've got my swimming pool. Now, there's a couple other things I can do as well, and let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and create a specific edge for the pool. So selecting either one of these lines, which we'll do, we're going to do another copy and paste in place again. So click that. I'm going to downgrade it again, and then I'm going to upgrade it to a 3D molding polyline. Click OK. Go to my moldings tab, and I'm going to select a molding within the program here. Um, let's see. Let's try this one. And I want to call its height 2 and its depth I'm going to say more like 4 and offset 0.25. So it's just above the floor level. Click OK. And I see it's a little too high actually so I'm going to open it up and I'm going to say negative 2. And there, if I zoom in on the picture side, I can see that I've got that pretty flush and pretty level. Okay, so now all I'm left to do is color the typical floor and or the side that I've created around. So why don't we do that? I'm going to go to Manufacturer Library. Um, let's see, what should we do? How about this cultured stone? We'll take something like this. And I'm just going to apply it to the ground. And then why don't we um, doom, 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 pick another flavor for the edge? What shall we pick? What shall we pick? Oh, I just don't know. How about this ugly color? <clears throat> so there we go. Put another color on there. You can do as you see fit. In fact, you can continue to add moldings around because it's quite easy and quite simple. Um, but that's how you do it. And again, uh, if you think something's too high, like I'm going to lower it now down to two inches, might look a little bit better around the edges. But uh, it's all ready to go. It's it's all built in 3D, and that's the simplest and easiest way to make one of those indoor swimming pools. So I hope you learned something and enjoyed this video, and I'll be back to share with you quite a bit more. If you'd like to send in a request for a video to be made, please do so uh, using the email contact information at chieftutor.com.